close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it coming in, watch it going out. Try to direct your attention right here. Don't let it get directed anyplace else. As the Buddha said, this is how we make progress in life, is we direct ourselves in the right direction. Because when we we're born, we don't necessarily have a direction. And the body is going to grow up and get age, probably get ill, and ultimately will die. That's the direction of the body. But the mind doesn't have to take that direction. If it concerns itself with the affairs of the body and doesn't think of itself, it gets pulled down. But when it can look into its own needs, it realizes it needs happiness. And then you have to look, well, where do you find happiness? This is where the Buddha's teachings come in. He gives us instructions on how to find happiness. Happiness is in the long term. And ultimately, happiness is longer than long term. In other words, it's outside of space and time entirely. So it's good to take his advice, because the happiness offered by the world, you have pleasures, but they end with the body. And oftentimes you've done things to gain those pleasures that are not all that skillful. And then you're stuck with the karma, because if anything more certain than death, it's the principle of karma. You act on your skillful intentions, there are going to be good results. You act on unskillful intentions, there are going to be bad results. This goes past death. So as we're generous, as we're virtuous, as we meditate, we're pointing our minds in the right direction. But something goes beyond death. Something goes higher and higher. And the Buddha is there to remind us that we do have that possibility. The world keeps telling us, no, stay content with the affairs of the world. Have your mind go up and down in line with the affairs of the world. But that's pretty miserable. Look at the world. It's becoming a bigger and bigger mess all the time. Well, the Buddha says there's something better than this. And we owe it to ourselves to look for that something better. He says we're capable of it. It's there. Simply a matter of making the effort and keeping ourselves rightly directed. Whether you're at the monastery, whether you go home, wherever you are, make sure your mind is in the right direction. Looking for long-term happiness, looking for blameless happiness. So that it doesn't have to follow the ups and downs of the body. And when the time comes for it to leave the body, it'll have a good place to go. It'll have all the supporting conditions it needs. As the Buddha said in the Dhammapada, when you pass away, the good things you've done will be on the other side to welcome you as, as if you're a long-lost relative coming home. That's what you want to meet on the other side of death. You don't want to be meeting with the thing, bad things you've done who will pull you down. All your acts of generosity, all your acts of virtue, all the times you meditate, those are your long-lost relatives, and you'll be meeting them again. So focus the mind in that direction. And as things in the body, things in the world go up and down, you'll be glad you did. <laughs>